Hey John. All right, I got it pulled outside right now. Um, I'll get ready to crank it up. I haven't had it cranked up. Things I haven't told you about this thing. It does sit on a battery charger, or a battery tender all the time, so the battery's always kept, you know, right where it needs to be um, since it was new. And the other thing is, it's only ever had ethanol-free 93 octane gas in it. Uh, there's no requirement for that, but I like doing that because the way side by sides and stuff get stored, and I don't want to see the gas ever go bad, so I've only ran ethanol-free gas in it. Um, we just happen to have a pump here local to us that I can get it and keep it up with. So there you go, there's a look of it right there. Um, I'll go up here and start it, it hasn't been started yet, and then I'll walk you through with the gear changes and everything like that, and then the wife and I will go up and down the street and I'll show you what it actually does. So as you see, I'm getting in right now. Um, I haven't been around one of these Yamaha side-by-sides a lot to see how it operates. I'm having the fun with my wife. Um, the way it works out, you know, normal key here. This is the gear shifter. You just go forward or back, um, and I'll walk you through this. So you can see with the start, clutch got to be up to Turns right over with no problem. You can see if gear selector gear here is right now is neutral. If I want to change gears, I've got the clutch in right now. You'll see, I can put it in first gear. It goes to first. It's in first gear. I can let my foot off the clutch right now. You'll see we don't move. Parking brake is on, but you don't have to have the clutch in when you're sitting still because it's a centrifugal clutch. It takes RPM to spin up to actually get it to engage. So when I step my foot on the gas, RPM the motor spins up, and that's what engages the clutch. All right, so right there is first, but let's go back into neutral. All you do is push it up to the new car, push it down, then pull it into second, third, fourth, fifth, or I can go back up and jump on in. I got a roll of moment. There we go. So second, first. Now, when you're in first gear to get it to reverse, there's a, a lever over here on the left hand side. With the clutch in, you pull backwards on it, and then you just throw it up into reverse. And you can see reverse came in. And then I can let it out. And still, we still we're not moving. The clutch is disengaged. The okay, other things I'll run into before we start going right now, you come straight down here below the gear shifter, and you've got your uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive dip lock. You can shift on the fly to any one of those. Just swap it over. That puts it into four-wheel drive, but you go all the way over to dip lock, and that locks the dip. Um, so there you go with that. And then your headlight switches on and off. Real simple. Okay, so I'm in reverse is where we just left it. You're gonna see I'm gonna let me uh, put off the brake. It's gonna roll. But I'm not really doing anything right now because i got to get out of the driveway. But once I get out of the driveway, um, I'll step on the gas a little bit, get to back up. You'll see, my foot's never on the clutch here. I got another car away, not. All right, we're coming out of the driveway now. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now, as we pull out of the driveway, I'm just going to put my foot on the gas. And as it wraps up, oop, there we go, it starts to drive. Now to put it in first gear, I can put the clutch in and do it, or I can just pull. I'm in first gear without a clutch. And all I do is go. See, now when you're high rev, you run it like a clutch, and you're good. Stop. And I'm almost stopped, and I can still hit the gas here. Go. 